Thank you very much, please. Melania and I are delighted to welcome you to the White House on this beautiful spring evening. This is the Rose Garden, for those of you that don't know. And we use it seldom, but this is one of the times we're using it, Tiger. Today is my privilege to award our nation's highest civilian honor to one of the greatest athletes in the history of sports, Tiger Woods. Tiger, congratulations on receiving the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Thank you, Mike. We're thankful to be joined on this occasion by our great Vice President, Mike, thank you very much, members of my Cabinet, some of our nation's governors, and many distinguished members of the House and the Senate. Thank you all for being here. We're also pleased to have us with us is Tiger's mother, Kaltita, his daughter Sam, and his son Charlie, his girlfriend Erica, and his caddy, Joe LaCava. Where's Joe LaCava? Stand up, Joe. It's a good job. Good job. Wow. Good job, Joe. For over five decades, the Presidential Medal of Freedom has been given to individuals who have made outstanding contributions to American life, history, and culture. This evening, we are in the presence of a true legend, an extraordinary athlete who has transformed golf and achieved new levels of dominance. He's also a great person. He's a great guy. Tiger introduced countless new people to the sport of golf from every background and from every walk of life. He inspired millions of young Americans with his thrilling wire-to-wire -wire victories. Tiger Woods is a global symbol of American excellence, devotion, and drive. At just six months old, Tiger watched from his high chair as his dad, very special guy also, Earl, I got to know him, a veteran of the Vietnam War and Army Special Forces. And he was tough, Tiger, wasn't he, huh? But good. Not as tough as her. Uh, I think she might be tougher. <laughs> she might be tougher. Practice.